All right, last video on 2.4. We're going to talk about this word problem. As we've talked in the last couple of videos about word problems, go to the question. So the question here starts right here, right? How many web pages would the designer have to make in order to save time using the new software? So we know that we are looking for, I keep losing my stylus here. Here it is, web pages, right? That we're not sure how many web pages. So now let's go and get some information. So this graphic designer takes 1.5 hours to make one page, right? So now, that takes 1.5 hours per page. And that's, right? Uh, I changed it to per. That kind of gives us an idea of what kind of operation we're working with there, right? Using new software, so the now versus the new, the designer could complete each page, each being a keyword, in 1.25 hours, so saving 15 minutes, but it takes eight hours to learn the new software. Okay, so it wants to know how many web pages would the designer have to make in order to save time. So we're wanting, like, where is the break even point? At one point, are they equal? And so then anything beyond that page number would then be saving us time. So what we're setting up is now equal to new or old equal to new. All right, so we know that it's 1.5 per page. I also know that with the new, it's 1.25 per page plus the eight hours it's going to take to learn the new program. So I have variables on both sides of the equal sign. I don't have to distribute. I don't have same side like terms. I just need to move. Now on ones like this where you have a variable on one side and no constant, you always want to move the variable that is with the constant. Whether it is the smallest or not. In this case it is, but I'm just pointing that out. I know I said in the first 2.4 video that move the smallest coefficient, but if the smallest coefficient is by itself, you don't want to move that one. All right. Otherwise you're making yourself more work. So that is the subtraction property of equality. From here, I end up with the fact that we have point two five of a difference, right? Is equal to eight. So now I'm going to divide by 0.25, divide by 0.25. Now the way I'm thinking of this division is I'm dividing that eight. How many quarters does it take to get eight dollars? That's how I'm thinking of it. And so I know you can also type this into the calculator. But that's the way Mrs. Cartwright's brain works, and I just wanted you to know that's what I was thinking. I know that there are 32 quarters and $8. So it's going to take 32 web pages for this to make sense. And I guess our last step that we used was a division property of equality. But for this to work and for it to make sense to spend the eight hours learning a new program, she would have to make 32 web pages for it to be worth her time. So that's the way it works. Uh, and again, we came across those words, right? Those keywords each, right? This was to make one page. To me, what that was telling me was that was a unit rate, right? how long it takes to make one thing. So those were keywords that helped me. All right, as you keep trucking along, as keep asking questions as you have them, okay? And we will see you in class. Until next time, eighth grade. Deuces.